Hi, and welcome to the Engine Man segment of the Successful Farming TV Show. You're probably wondering what I have going on here in these wine glasses and uh, little mason jars, and we're not making any home brew. What we're basically doing is we're going to be talking today about fuel dilution of engine oil in both gasoline and diesel engines. Sadly, many, many engines are ruined by fuel diluted oil. And how fuel gets into the oil depends upon the type of engine it is. We'll talk about gasoline engines first. In the gasoline engine, fuel gets into the oil from the engine running, the carburetor or fuel injection running too rich, or even more common today though, is by a lot of short trip cycles. And now, I'm using the word trip, but that could be an engine that's used for a very short duty cycle. For instance, let's say like a gas engine that's on a sea tender. It's only gonna, it's gonna start and it's gonna run and it's gonna run for a few minutes and shut off and never really get the operating temperature. So it's always running with the choke partially on and poor vaporization of the fuel. That ends up washing past the piston rings and going into the oil. On a diesel engine, you could have fuel dilution from a bad injector, from lugging the engine, from poor combustion or a mechanical condition that allows the fuel not to be burned. So the important thing here is for you to realize that when you, not only when you check your oil, not only for level, you need to be cognizant that say to yourself, geez, this, this engine is great, it's making oil. Well, if it's making oil, it's probably getting fuel in it. So what you want to do is whenever you check your oil, you want to also take the oil off the dipstick and feel it in your finger, and you want to take the dipstick to your nose and smell it to see if you can detect any fuel in it. Now, what we have here is a simple demonstration. I have pure oil. This happens to be a 1040 weight oil. I have the same oil, and I'm going to, I'm going to pollute it with 10% by volume of gasoline, and then I'm going to... Pers per <clears throat> pollute this oil with 10% by volume diesel fuel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pour it in. I feel like I'm on a cooking show here, right? And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pour it in here. And then I'm gonna show you this is the regular oil. You could see how it feels here. And this is the 10% oil. Now keep in mind that when you dilute fuel and oil, look how that runs right off. No lubricity whatsoever. That was the gasoline. And here's the diesel, look at that. It's like water. That's only 10% pollution. And what this is gonna do is cause excessive wear of every component of the engine that, is, that sees that oil. Bearings, cylinder wall, piston rings, camshaft valves, what have you. So it's very, very important for you to be able to confirm that there's no fuel dilution in the oil. First with your nose, dipstick level, and you could also use a fluid analysis test. I want to thank the people at Firestone. I'm in Columbiana, Ohio at their test facility where all of the agricultural tire development is performed. And these guys here really know about not only tires but fuel dilution because some of their tractors have 30,000 hours on them with no engine problems whatsoever. You have a blessed day, and if I could ever help you, please contact me at sfengineman@agriculture.com. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already, and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video. And click here to see more great videos.